let's talk about quality and quality particularly in the context of course of modern contemporary project management or agile project management. To most people, the definition of quality reverts to a very common standard, which is the ISO 9000 standard, that quality is fitness for purpose, or as the PMI puts it, quality is meeting requirements. Now, if you accept that basic premise, then there's a couple of underlying issues that we need to explore that that premise of meeting requirements doesn't clearly address. And to give you an example of that, I'd like you to consider these three watches. Now, this watch here is a Rado. It's fairly expensive, beautiful Swiss engineering, a timeless classic as some people call it. This is my Apple watch, which I absolutely love. It looks after my heartbeats, tells me how I'm going, how many steps I've walked, gives me the weather forecasts. Um, it actually tells the time of course, but amazingly it takes phone calls as well. And here's my Sylvester the Cat watch, which is another one of my favorites. So these are three different watches, different costs, expensive, less expensive, really cheap. But if you take the idea that quality is meeting requirements and your requirements for a watch is that the watch simply tells time, that's the only thing you want from your watch, then ipso facto, these three watches have identical quality. Just rethink that again, just for a moment. If your requirement for a watch is something that just tells you the time, then these three watches, irrespective of their price and their other features or attributes, are identical. If on the other hand, you're a surfer or a, a skin diver, and it, you must have watches that are waterproof, and that's one of the quality requirements that you have in a watch, then none of these watches meet your requirements. So that's the logical conclusion of that reasonably simplistic view that quality is meeting requirements. What I'm getting to is that there's an underlying and much more interesting question about quality, which is, is quality purely subjective in the eye of the beholder, or is quality objective? That is, it's something that can be prescribed, measured, and actually proven scientifically. If we leave the subjective view of quality, actually, to be the one that we're going to use, then clearly as a project manager, you're facing a whole world of pain. Because you can spend all your effort building this, what you think is a really quality product, and any one of your critical stakeholders can simply say subjectively, I think you failed in this project because you didn't deliver the right quality. That's the problem. If you go to the objective measure, which of course is the preference, then you still have this problem that unless you have a specific focus on defining what quality is for a project at the beginning, when you go live, again, any one of those critical stakeholders can say objectively, you didn't meet my requirements. And you can't resolve that because you actually never defined that with them up front. So in this series of tutorials, I'm gonna introduce you to a really, really powerful tool called the Quality Agreement, which gives you the ability up front to have conversations about what does quality mean to these critical stakeholders, and specifically, of course, what it means to your sponsor. What we have found as we explore the tool in the next couple of tutorials, is that many sponsors that I've worked with really like this tool because it gives them, as I said earlier in the tutorials, a lever to have a structured and focused conversation about what is quality and how are we going to measure it.